It's been a long time coming, mate. Oh, <laughs> Walter, nearly a year. I, I think I chatted to you though. Was it in September when you was going to make your debut, and uh, the medical just didn't come through in time? Mm. Uh, then we was going to get you out. Was it in November? And then December. you just was December. it December? Yeah. Was it going to be on one of the Jolly Boys? Was that? No, we was going to be on that the Nosley show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Where's your eyes? Yeah, that one, and yeah. then um, I, I was on a run, just a normal run, and just a freak accident with my ankle, and mm -hmm. twisted it, so I had ligament damage there. So I had to recover from that, and then we're here now. And we're here now, and uh, March 14th. March 14th, yeah. Uh, we're two stable mates. Yeah. Uh, it should be a cracking night. We've got a great top of the bill there with Jay Farrell against uh, Damien Chambers. Um, looking forward to it, mate. I can't wait, I can't wait. The gym's flying, um, so these, these four of us, the, the, the camp's four, mm. three of us are on the same date, and we've got Blaine Harlan as well, he's on the MEM bill the week before, on no, the really? 7th. So yeah. like, we're all... Um, Blaine's a real talent, I believe, as well, isn't he? Real talent, yeah. Was he a fan of Wazy? You know, um, he's light, super, super fly. Super, super fly, fly, fly well, light, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. So... A bit of a Clark Kent, isn't he? There's those glasses on, takes him off, and... Yeah, he's a bit yeah, of a yeah. superstar as an amateur, wasn't he? Yeah, he was on Team GB. Yeah. For, for years on end, so... Well, let's go back now, because it was a while ago. Uh, what was your amateur career like? Um, good, good. Um, since the juniors, I've always been getting to like the, the elite stages, so like the quarters, semis, finals. Never quite won it, but I've always been getting... So to that means you've been the... How many times have you been the uh, Cheshire... Miss and Cheshire champion then? Um, as an amateur senior, yeah. what? As an amateur senior, Altogether, what? couldn't count. A lot of times because there's a lot of competitions in the juniors so like these the cyps the junior abas all that i was always getting past them yeah so a lot of times so very experienced um more than the amount of fights i've had would suggest because like there's You've a lot of been in the championships yeah. oh, like most of my fights are, are, were championships because it was hard to get matched up mm -hmm. as a kid so i just had to go in the championships and i know it's preparation for when you should have got out in november was going well because you were moving around with a, a couple of our uh, potentially future stars in Jack Cullen and yeah. Bradbury. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I've been spotting them quite a lot, Bradbury especially, travelling up to Hatton's gym in Manchester and great rounds all the time, same with Jack. I was sparring him for his fight with Felix Cash. Felix Cash yeah. yeah, so just get, getting great rounds in. What's just your style like? Versatile. Versatile, so um, I like to work on everything, so whenever I've got to show something new, it's in the bank. So I, I take versatile. Mm -hmm. Adding to your game all the time, I noticed that. I, I, I was saying to uh, Tommy, I said, Are you so poor? And he went, No, he just likes to try things out. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't know. I, I was watching you, I was thinking, you so poor last time I seen you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it looked very comfortable for you, mate. I've always, always been able to do it, I've always been able to switch. But um, like, like I'm saying about versatility, it's just now trying to add every every little thing to my game because the fighters I've looked up grown up, looked up to grown up, yeah. they've all had every trick in the bag. Who do you like, look up to then? Floyd Mayweather, um, Andre Ward, Bernard Hopkins, Mike McCallum. Just so you're the, talking about quite defensive fighters as well though? Defensive fighters, I, do you know what, I wouldn't even say Obviously Floyd was, but I wouldn't say like the likes of Andre Ward was a defensive fighter, he was a fighter who's got good defence. But I won't class him as a defensive fighter if you get me. Mm -hmm. Just a jack of all trades kind of thing, and that, that, that's what I'm trying to aspire to be in terms of my style and what I can do. So you don't trades. really care what they bring to them. You'll have an answer for them. Exactly. Exactly. So March the 14th. Uh, obviously, we've no idea of an opponent yet. Not yet. Not a, not as of now. No. But the the level we all box to as amateurs, that shouldn't really matter. It should just be a case of you're prepared to go in a fight and then pull it out the bag. Whatever's needed. Well, you're a little bit older than you. You're 25, so 20, still fairly young. 26. 26. So still fairly young, but a little bit older than the yeah, other yeah. two. Um, does that mean you perhaps might take a few more risks early on? Because Tommy, uh, Tommy Smith, your, your coach here, doesn't 
doesn't seem to mind doing that with you. He seems to, because he knows you're all from the amateur days, all the way through, he, he seems to take a gamble because both uh, Nathan and uh, Matthew have both so I've had a couple of opponents that you perhaps wouldn't normally expect so early on in the craze. Mm. Um, just my, my, my take on it is I've just got to do what they ask of me in the gym, put my all into it, and if they say take this fight, you don't mind to say no or you don't mind to question. They, so they you're say, not going to question whatever Tommy says. Well, you feel well, like that's yeah, well, going to be right for you. Well, whatever they tell me, like they, they want me to do, I'm, I'm with it. I've yeah. got full trust in them, so they'll guide me the right way. Yeah, definitely. Um, like I say, I'm looking forward to it. You're bound to have a little bit of luck because you've had a lot of bad luck, haven't you? Yeah, but it is what it is. Um, all, all I can do is handle what's in my hands. If I'm dealt a bad card and dealt a bad card, I've just got to make the most of it. Well, you just, you just show me four ones to me, and yeah, you're yeah. very good at taking a positive out of negatives, aren't you? Yeah, you've got to. You've got to. You, it, it helps in boxing to be able to have that mental attitude. Because like you, you might you might think what what someone and think okay he's gonna bring this to the table and then it's come something completely different that he brings and then what are you gonna do just build under pressure you, mm -hmm. you've got to find a way to adjust within that's the same approach I've got when things go wrong outside the ring or in life you just gotta take it adapt and keep on going. Well, well I'm I'm thoroughly looking forward to this text. You know, I say I've only heard good things about you've heard about you know like obviously I speak to Jack and Brad and they all speak highly of you mate. Um, so good luck for March of 14 and uh, hopefully I'll be chatting to you and you'll be one and all. Appreciate it. Thanks, sir. Take care, mate. Um, can I give a special shout out as well to my strength conditioning side of a training, so Phoenix Fitness. Um, yeah. Without them, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. So, like, the, the amount of weight that they put in Paul O'Donnell. Well, well, that's one thing. What weight are you going to be fighting at? You middleweight? Super, super middleweight, but Paul seems to think he can get me to middle, so if that's on, if that's possible then I'd be willing to go down to middle but at the minute it's super middle. Yeah yeah. And well until you get day before weight. Yeah, day, day, like day before, before weight yeah. change everything don't they? Yeah yeah so, um, I, as an amateur I've been I've been light heavy as an amateur for the last five, six, seven years so So you I'm, would have been small though really as a, as a light heavy weight wouldn't you? Yeah small but I'm deceptive. I'm deceptive with, with my like um with my, my, my body structure, I'm deceptive with you. know, you remind me of physique wise a little bit because he was small for the way it was Adam Farrell, you know, team Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's you know, because he was small, wasn't he? Yeah. He was strong, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you look similar, you know, small but compact. Oh, that one, he's had a mile into my body and he's probably taken a couple of years away from me <laughs> with, the, with the gym wars. Yeah, it's sad, uh, he's, he's not fighting no more, but. Uh, I say, uh, must be great having him in the gym with you here. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, because he's one of them. He's um, you'll be on the bugs, and then he'll be looking over you to try and out the So like, it's, it's that kind <laughs> of, and because we were always at around about the same ways, it was always that competitive rivalry. So it pushed him on. Yeah. So it was, it was a shame that he left it a little bit too late to, to yeah. turn road as he could have done a lot. Uh, well, I remember when I used to do the circuit stand to all the kids, uh, the name when, when I was bringing him up saying, you know, he was going to be kicking over. They were like, ah, special him, special yeah. that, that was what everyone said, you know, and, and I must admit, he was just a, a joy to watch in yeah. that sense. If you like a fighting man, that's what he was. He was a fighting man, wasn't he? He was a joy to watch, but not a joy to be on the opposite end. Not, <laughs> not to <do> that much. <laughs> like I say, he's, he's had the malice to me. Yeah. All right, Dexter. Listen, look forward to watching you on the fourteenth. Like I appreciate it. Hopefully, we chat to you and you will want to know. Appreciate it. Thank Take you. care, mate. Thank Bye. You.